be it cliffhangers or closures, not all superheroes end their journeys the same way. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 iconic superhero movie endings. Thank God for you, Peter. You're the only family I have. Special news for Watch Mojo fans! This year we'll be streaming the Saturn Awards on September 13th, celebrating the best in science fiction, fantasy, horror, and much more. Nominees this year include Godzilla King of the Monsters, Us, and of course, Avengers Endgame. Stay tuned for regular updates on Watch Mojo's community tab for more info, and don't forget to save the date. Oh, stop. Oh, no. For this list, we're looking through the final scenes of the most critically and commercially successful superhero movies. Where'd he go? Four. Where'd he go? Number 10, Batman. We've received a letter from Batman this morning. Please inform the citizens of Gotham that Gotham City has earned the rest from crime. Tim Burton's foray into the beloved DC superhero ends with glorious triumph. The Joker's death signals the end of his crime spree in Gotham City, and Batman invites the citizens to call upon him for aid should they ever be threatened by villains again. Question. How do we call him? He gave us a signal! Commissioner Gordon and Harvey Dent switch on the bat signal for the first time as Batman watches it illuminate the night sky from a nearby rooftop. That iconic silhouette and Danny Elfman's equally iconic theme close a film that helps reinvent the caped crusader for new audiences in a post-Adam West fandom, setting a high bar against which other Batman adaptations to come would be measured. Mr. Wayne told me to tell you that he might be a little late. Mm. I'm not a bit surprised. Number nine, The Incredibles. Traction Avenue. That'll take me downtown. I take seven, don't I? Don't take seven! Great! We missed it! You asked me how to get there and I told you. Exit a track. That'll take me downtown! Who'd have thought the makers of Toy Story could deliver one of the better superhero movies of this era? With the villainous Syndrome's plan thwarted, the Parr family attempt to take some time adjusting to normal family life, with Dash competing in school sports and Violet finally connecting with her crush. Their peace is short-lived, however, as the appearance of a new supervillain, the Underminer, serves as their next call to action, and the family don their masks in readiness to stand and fight crime together. Shoot all before me! <laughs> Serving as appropriate closure to Bob's midlife crisis, it also sets the stage for a follow-up, although audiences wouldn't see it for another 14 years. Hey, you see that? Yeah. That's the way to do it. That's old school. Yeah? No school <laughs> like the old school. Number eight, Spider-Man. I know what it's like to lose a father. I didn't lose him. He was stolen from me. It was important for the Web Slinger's silver screen debut to satisfy the patient fans, but just as important to resonate once the credits rolled. At his father's funeral, Harry Osborn swears vengeance on Spider-Man, whom he deems responsible for his father's death. I swear on my father's grave, Spider-Man will pay. Things only get more complicated for Peter Parker as girl next door Mary Jane confesses her love for Peter, and he is forced to reject her out of fear his double life will keep her in peril. No matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, the ones I love will always be the ones who pay. As he accepts that his loved ones will always be a liability, Peter commits to his role as New York's defender, and Sam Raimi's classic ends with Webhead's spectacular swing through the Manhattan skyline. Who am I? I'm Spider-Man. Number seven, Superman. Christopher Reeve's first outing as the Man of Steel was instrumental in establishing the superhero genre. The problem with Men of Steel, there's never one around when you want one. Initially, Superman is unsuccessful in saving his beloved Lois Lane from being buried alive, infuriating him into taking drastic action. All those powers. And I couldn't even save him. In a physics-defying act even by Supes' standards, he flies into space, spinning the Earth backwards and actually managing to rewind time, allowing him to ensure Lois' safety whilst also stopping Lex Luthor's warheads from causing catastrophe in the original superhero time heist. 
With Lex in jail and Lois alive, it's a job well done. And Superman flies exultantly through the sky as John Williams' famous theme plays him out. Number 6. X-Men Why do you come here, Charles? Why do you ask questions to which you already know the answers? Oh, yes. You're continuing search for hope. Foiled by the newly assembled supergroup, mutant extremist Magneto fails in his scheme to mutate several world leaders on Ellis Island, and is subsequently incarcerated in a plastic prison to render his metal-bending powers useless. The more peaceful mutant Charles Xavier visits Magneto in his cell, and the two former friends discuss the future of human-mutant relations over a game of chess, each man affirming his own commitment to his side of the cause. You know this plastic prison of theirs won't hold me forever. The war is still coming, Charles, and I intend to fight it. It's an ending that's even more poignant today, having seen the conflicts both past and future these two men will endure over the franchise's following installments. And I will always be there, old friend. Number 5, Iron Man. Iron Man, that's kind of catchy. It's got a nice ring to it. I mean, it's not technically accurate. The suit's a gold titanium alloy, but it's kind of evocative, the imagery, anyway. Here's your alibi. Secret identities be damned. In the aftermath of his fight atop Stark Industries with his crazed business partner Obadiah Stane, Tony Stark holds a press conference. In spite of suggestions from peacekeeping organization S.H.I.E.L.D. to distance himself from the scuffle, Stark elects to tell the world he is Iron Man. The truth is, I am Iron Man. As surprising as this trope-defying ending was to audiences, it paled in comparison to what came after the credits. I am Iron Man. You think you're the only superhero in the world? Tony is visited at his home by S.H.I.E.L.D. director Nick Fury, who informs him he's become part of a larger universe. He mentions something called the Avenger Initiative, kicking off the Marvel Cinematic Universe while simultaneously cementing the tradition of wading through the credits for an extra sliver of movie. Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. Number four, Logan. They don't, they'll keep coming and coming. You don't have to fight anymore. Whether we wanted to accept it or not, Hugh Jackman's final time putting on the adamantium claws was always going to finish on a tearful goodbye. You taught me what they made you. An aged and dying Logan is buried by his daughter Laura at the Canadian border following his sacrifice to save her and her friends from Xander Rice, the Reavers, and his animalistic clone. Showtime, boy! Laura eulogizes her father with a monologue from the Western movie Shane, paying tribute to a life of anguish and destruction that now finally rests. Before she departs, she turns the improvised cross marking the former X-Men's grave sideways so that it resembles an X, and a 17-year journey reaches its inevitable end. Oh, so this is what it feels like. Number 3. Avengers Endgame I am inevitable. Talk about inevitable. As the final Avengers movie in the Infinity Saga, Endgame not only had to continue the story arc begun in Infinity War, but also wrap up the fates of several main characters. I said we'd lose. You said we'll do that together too. And guess what, Cap? We lost. And you weren't there. It ultimately succeeds with flying colors, thanks to the epic final battle and poignant final scenes in which we bid farewell to many of our favorite characters. Iron Man's funeral and Thor's departure with the Guardians are fitting conclusions to their arcs, while Captain America gets the very last seat, finally finding the right partner for a dance. Number 2. The Dark Knight You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. While the Joker technically loses his battle, the war for Gotham City is still raging at the end of this classic Batman flick, as the clown prince of crime successfully corrupts former district attorney Harvey Dent into a duplicitous villain who dies in his quest for vengeance. Batman decides the only way to preserve Dent's image and keep the peace is to take the blame for Two-Face's crimes, and so as a manhunt for Batman is issued, he flees the police and rides away into the night. I killed those people. That's what I can be. No, no, you can't. You're not. I'm whatever Gotham needs me to be. 
While the end of Bruce Wayne's journey is fully realized in the sequel, Commissioner Gordon's characterization of Batman as the hero Gotham deserves still resonates as one of the most chilling depictions of the caped crusader to date. He didn't do anything wrong. Because it's the hero Gotham deserves, but not the one it needs right now. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Avengers Infinity War What did it cost? Everything. After teasing Thanos since the first Avengers film, Infinity War finally put him center stage as he completed his quest to fill his Infinity Gauntlet with Infinity Stones, and Infinity Snap half the universe out of existence. While we fully expected Scarlet Witch or Thor to heroically save the day, our expectations turned to dust when a wheezing Thanos insulted Thor's aim and went ahead with his plans anyway. You should have gone for the head. Our favorite Avengers were left fractured and dumbfounded, as half their allies turned to dust, while Thanos retreated to the farm to enjoy his final vignette. While the snap was eventually reversed, audiences had to sit with his ending for a full year, letting the pain of this loss and its corresponding memes settle in. You're alright. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go, sir. Please. Please, I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.